What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and today we're going to be running through some 3DS and Wii U news. So first up is that in Animal Crossing New Leaf there's a feature known as the Happy Home Showcase where you can check out other players' homes. Now Nintendo has revealed in a recent Iwata ask for the game that they're going to be sending out Nintendo created model homes for you to explore via Spot Pass in North America and Europe. So maybe we'll find that interesting to see what Nintendo comes up with. Maybe there'll be one that's like Mario themed. So maybe you want to check those out. Now as for that new Mewtwo like Pokemon that Nintendo announced for Pokemon X and Y, Nintendo didn't really elaborate on what this new Pokemon is. It's suspected to have some sort of connection to Mewtwo. Now we have Koro Koro revealing that this new Mewtwo-like Pokemon is a new form of Mewtwo. So the magazine reveals that Mewtwo awakens and he's in this new form. So I don't know, maybe he's like a caterpillar or something, how they go into the cocoon and do the metamorphosis thing and turn into butterflies. So Mewtwo's a caterpillar. Now the funding campaign for the Kickstarter project Shovel Knight has reached its end and guess what? It reached every single one of its stretch goals. So the game managed to raise over $311,000 with his last stretch goal being $300,000. Now all that stretch goal content will probably be released in a future update for the game. So the Shovel Knight is set to be released in September and Yakko Games revealed that it's like already hard enough to have the game released in September and adding all that stretch goal content would just make it harder. So they revealed that they will probably release that content in a future update for the game. Now there was a rumor that Criterion Games was working on a reboot of Need for Speed Underground because this logo was supposedly coming from that game. But now we have Alex Ward of Criterion Games stating that this is fake. Now he also states on Twitter about sequels, reboots, remakes, been there, done that. So I guess you can scratch this rumor off as being false. Now according to some LinkedIn profiles for people who work at Criterion Games, they're working on an unannounced racing game. So from what Alex Ward says, I'm guessing it's not a reboot, remake, or a sequel. Now you may be wondering whether or not we'll be seeing a Tails game on the Nintendo Wii U. Well the Tails producer Hideo Baba revealed that he likes the idea of the Wii U, and if the system becomes more and more successful, they may eventually develop for it. And he says it comes down to the ultimate question, what consoles do our fans have? So if the Wii U eventually starts picking up speed, starts selling more consoles, and there's Tails fans on the Wii U. You, maybe we'll actually start seeing some Tails games on the system. Finally is that we have some of our first off-screen gameplay footage for the upcoming 3DS eShop game Jet Rocket 2 The Wrath of Tai Tai that you can check out on my blog, link in the description below. But that will bring us to the end of this video and if you want you can go to thegamepixel.com for some more 3DS and Wii U news. But I'll talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye!